This is amazing. So I was getting ready to do this video for you today about snow-capped trees and it is doing exactly that. It's snowing and covering the trees and it only does that like once or twice a year around here so it's kind of like a big deal. <laughs> but enough of that. Let's go ahead and start out with a screen size canvas. You can start out with any size you want for this project. Before we make the brushes I want to demonstrate why I like the brushes in the first place and I think rather than tell you it's probably just easier to show you but essentially it's that it saves me some effort in terms of repetitious work like creating globs for a snow cap tree. All right, we're going to pop open the brush library by tapping the brush icon and then we're going to come all the way up scrolling with our finger to the plus sign then we're going to tap the plus sign and then we're going to go ahead and name this and I'm going to call it tree project and just because I find it's a little bit easier to work with I'm going to grab this new set and just move it down a couple so now I need to grab a couple of copies of some brushes that are uh, standard for procreate so we're going to go down to our calligraphy set here Let's see where is that right here gently slide the script brush over tap duplicate and then I'm going to tap chalk slide it over tap duplicate and now I'm going to take this tapped chalk and I'm also going to uh, grab the script so now both of them are selected and move these copies into my tree project drag and then hold over tree project when it opens you can drop it right inside of the set just like that and then scroll all the way back down wet glazes underwater let's take a copy of this one so duplicate put it into my tree project here all right okay and then i'm going to go ahead and go down to organic and i'm going to get the snow gum and again create a duplicate of that and drop that into my tree project Okay, so I like to keep chalk to use. So I'm gonna create, let's see, two copies here. So with the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and tap it twice to open up the studio. And then the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna change my spacing. I'm gonna move it up to, I don't know, about 12%, I think, 13, 12, that's fine. And I'm gonna give it a jitter of about, well, yep, yeah, 65, 66, somewhere in there. That looks pretty good. All right, and then I'm gonna go down to the shape and I want to kind of squish this just a little bit. So we're just going to squish this in. All right, let's go ahead and tap done. Okay, and then I want to take the next copy of my chalk brush and I'm going to go into the stroke path and I'm going to change that to something a little bit more like maybe around 24 or 3 or something like that and a jitter of about somewhere around 36, 35, that's my guess. Okay, and then we're going to go to the shape and let's see, this one, I also want it to be squishy, but I'm gonna be using this as slightly different. I'm gonna use this to be the tree shadow. So let's, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're squishing it to a sort of an eye shape, and then we're gonna draw this down just like that. We're almost there. So I wanna flip X on this. I'm gonna change the count to seven, and then I wanna do a count jitter on this so it moves around and everything. I'm thinking somewhere around, whoa, that's probably too much. Something like that looks probably pretty good. So let me clear the drawing pad really quick so you can see. I want this to be for uh, making a whole bunch of trees, like shadows for the trees. So this is really my tree shadow, so look at that. It looks like sort of like a forest. And the brush we created just before this is gonna be sort of the detail for that forest. Um, I'm probably not gonna use this brush today, but I am gonna be using it in a future tutorial. So I wanted us to be making that uh, to get ready for that future tutorial. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I think I'm done here. Let's go ahead and name these just so that we can be clear about what we've got. So I'm going to go ahead and put my name in here. And I'm going to keep this chalk and then I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call this a shadow. Okay, and then we're going to tap done when we're done. And then here I want this to be, yeah, this is so cool. It looks so much like a tree. Okay, so this is what we're gonna call, whoops, I'm sorry about that, our loud noise there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, give this a name. So again, made by Liz. And then um, I'm gonna call this chalk, and I'm just gonna call this tree, and I'll know what that means, done. Now I wanna turn the script brush into something that works really well for snow. So let's go ahead and tap twice so that we could open up the studio and now for this one I'm going to change the spacing to uh, 
somewhere of 15 to 14. It's just a little bit spaced here, but I'm also going to give it a jitter, a, a lot of jitter. So let's see, somewhere around 90. Let's call it 90. That looks pretty good. But I also want this to be squished so it looks more like a tree shape. And this is going to be for our snow and it's pretty effective here. So let's go ahead and go to our shape. There we go. Now, I love this wet glaze, and how I'm gonna change that though is, uh, I wanna show you something here uh, first. So let's say I choose a color here. Let's go to my regular disc here. I choose a color here. Okay. The way the glaze works is you lay down a color, and if you lay it over, it kind of blends nicely, but you can still see that it's kind of uh, more of a multiply uh, because that's the mode it's set to. And so if I add in another color, um, it it does something like that where you can see this dark dark color because of its multiplication so I really want to change that so that it's not multiplying so I can use it because I really love the edges of this brush um, and I, I like how this brush works it's kind of it's kind of funny and it funky and it, it feels like snow so let me go ahead and clear this okay and then let's go to that brush we're gonna pop it open and we're gonna change that blend mode Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm gonna go to uh, rendering, and I want this to be uniform glaze, which is, it gives it all one nice solid co color, really nice and thick. And then I'm gonna change the blend mode to normal. So just tap that little multiply, and then go down to normal. And now when it lays together, let me show you what happens. So we'll use that uh, purple again, and then we'll use the blue and now it just covers it like a gouache would say. So, I mean, it's got a little bit of edging here going on and that's okay, I love that because then you can blend it or whatever and that works really well for our snow effect that we're gonna be doing. Okay, let's go ahead and clear this. Okay, our next brush is this snow gum and I really like how it works. So let's see, I, um, so this would be too big, so woo! Let's bring this down so you can really see what's going on. So there's a nice hue shift going on with this brush, which I totally love, but it's the wrong shape. No problem. I love the way this works. I want it to be more open and I also want it to be round. Um, otherwise, I love this brush just as is. So let's go ahead, actually, let's go ahead and clear this. And then let's go to our brush uh, studio here. So we're gonna tap Snow Gum to open up the studio here. And this is a two brush, it's a combo brush. And what we're interested in is this top one. And you can see by the blue highlight here that that's the one that we're looking at. If we were to select this, then this is the brush we're looking at. So, but again, we want the top one there. So we're gonna be looking at um, spacing a little bit more. So 60, about 60 something, I'm thinking. Let's see, uh, is that too, yeah. uh, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe 50. Well, it could be just too much and I can go over a couple times. So yeah, I think I do want something around 60, eh, even 65 maybe. Yep, there we go. So it will be sort of like snow flurries and I can add more if I want to. And the thing I love is the size jittering too. It's really cool, but I am gonna give it more. <laughs> I wanna give it even more. So I don't know, somewhere around, I'm thinking, hmm. Somewhere around 140, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So you've got lots of different, uh, it looks like depth going on here, which is totally cool. Okay, so we've got that going on. And then the next thing I wanna do is change the shape. So we're gonna go to shape and we're gonna change it from this nice little leaf shape. We're gonna tap edit, import, source library. And then we're just gonna go ahead and take the small point right there and we're done. Okay, so it's, no longer snow gum really <laughs> it's now just snow all right so we're gonna go ahead and tap done here awesome and that's really all there is to it when you're making your own set i have this winter 22 palette that i will make available for free there will be a link in the description below and i'm going to go ahead and select this light blue color right there and i'm just going to drop it into layer one and then create a new layer on top of that and I'm gonna go ahead and select this nice white color there. And I'm gonna select that first brush there and I'm gonna go ahead and, and let's see, I'm gonna make it about, well, actually about 40%, 41% is fine. And I'm just gonna draw a nice little hillside here. 
And then I'm going to refine the edge so it doesn't look so much like it's windblown and by bringing down the brush size there and just kind of go along the edge here. Now it just looks like it's like little pieces of grass poking up through the snow, which is kind of nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and work on our tree. So with a new layer, I'm going to go ahead and select this blue. Um, okay, and then we're going to select our tree that we the tree brush we've made. And now this uh, gets bigger with the pressure of the brush. So we're going to start out with a light touch and then start zigzagging until we start getting the tree kind of shape that we want for our tree. There we go. Now we could add in pieces right in here if we want to, um, like if we feel like it's not quite the shape we want or we want it to be a little fuller, we totally can do that just like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and create a layer on top of that. We're going to tap that layer, create a clipping mask, and go back to our colors here and select that light yellow color. And we're just going to just kind of paint along the edge here of that light with that light yellow um, to give some highlights. And now the blue is already our shadow, which is great. And we're going to go ahead and select this very hard to see green color <laughs> in this palette. And we're going to paint in sort of the center. And I like doing it this way because it kind of mixes up the colors a bit and keeps the texture. It's a very interesting look to it. So I kind of like doing this. And this is just our undercoat here for our impressionistic tree. Now let's go ahead and work on our snow. So we're going to create a new layer on top of this and we're going to go back to our white color here. And now we're going to select this script brush that we have modified. Again, it is sensitive to pressure as well. So we, we're going to start out with a light touch and then kind of get a little bigger as we go down. Um, but let's see what size do I want. Oh, actually, somewhere around 30 seems fine. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of draw a little bit of snow up top. Okay, and now we're going to just kind of do sort of a zigzaggy pattern down a little bit and right about in here we're going to start making it a little different we're going to start kind of coming out as if we have some tree limbs just like that and we can press down to make the tree limb bigger as it might be and you can see it's kind of like snowballs forming which is really kind of cool so we're just going to keep on doing that and come all the way down So now let's go over to our next color, which is kind of a mid-tone color. It's this light blue, which is the same color as the skies. We're just going to do the same thing. So especially for the shadow side, we're going to have probably a little bit more of this blue. and But also it's going to be like sort of the shadow of the snow over on this highlight, highlight side. And remember, when there was a branch kind of coming over, there's going to be a shadow on top of the next branch below it. So that's kind of what we're, what we're trying to achieve here is that look. And this, you know, I would go with like a light touch and then surveil it <laughs> and then, the light, and, you know, add to it as you go surveil. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that word. Anyway, <laughs> total nerd artist here. I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. We're just kind of giving it more dimension. Okay, so now I want to add like a little bit of shadow and dimension on the snow. So let's go ahead and create a layer above the snow. And we're going to go back to our wet glaze brush and let's see, I'm going to go with this lighter color. I think I want this a little bit bigger. There we go. Yeah, kind of like that. And then I'm going to bring that blue right in here. And now I'm going to go a little harder touch because I want a shadow here and then kind of soften it up again, lighter touch. All right, that looks good. And now let's go ahead and go to the darker blue right underneath there. Kind of out that way. Okay, and that's nice and soft. Okay, that might be a little bit much. So let's see if we can soften this down just a little bit so it's a little bit more realistic. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I like that. Okay, so now the last thing to do is add our snow on top here. So let's go to the tree and the very top layer, add a new layer on top of that. And our last brush, we turned the snow gum into just snow and we're selecting that. And let's see, I think that's, let's see, yeah, 12%. Let's go with 12%. And the thing I love about these brushes, we're going to select white, is that they both change, they jitter in size and also in uh, terms of their color, which is really cool. So let me just like lay them down wherever and they will jitter for you. It is so cool. Okay. And I think I want a couple bigger ones. So bring that up to maybe 23. 
Oops. Whoa. Okay. Um, I don't like this one, but I do like that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to use my selection tool and I'm going to freehand it and make sure color fill is not on. And I'm just going to do that. And then I'm just going to use three fingers and cut that one there. <laughs> there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this is another video I think that you'll enjoy as well. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.